Craig Zolly may be wondering why there's a black screen here. That's because there was an error while processing the GeoGuessr videos for the rest of the week. And that error was very simply that my video recorder decided to record the microphone audio instead of the desktop audio. So I have decided to release these particular GeoGuessers for the rest of the week without any audio because I do hum along during various points of this and I did not want to have the clash. So this episode will be without music and we'll see you back in 247 for a complete package. But trust me, the experience is still quite good and i hope you enjoy it greetings all frog here let's play geogas we have been challenged to a personal photospheres challenge from jobo i don't know if this means that they're his personal photospheres or people's personal photospheres this looks like the scottish highlands doesn't it oh it's parked on the right though i don't know if that really matters could be norway then i suppose What do we think? Is it Norway or is it the Scottish Highlands? They're very similar. Um, I'm going to go with the Scottish Highlands. You know what? You know what? We're going to do a little of both. We're going to say that we're on, um, we're on the Orkneys. We're on the, the mainland. No, we're on the Pharaohs. Good idea, though. All right, these are personal, not his, because this is a different person that took this photosphere. So these are just people that have taken photospheres, but that was on the Faroe Islands, that last one. That's cool. This is, um, I don't know. Chinese writing, possibly Japanese writing. Lovely topiary work right there. I'm going to go with Chinese writing, I think. Probably smog. Could just be fog, but it's cool. I like it. This might be another twofer. It's not like there's a lot I can figure out about this. Um, I'm gonna say we're east of Beijing. Ooh, we were not far enough east. Right on the border of Korea. It was the General Tomb, it's called. I don't know anything about that, but okay. This is lovely. A mosque, I assume? Wow. I was going to say, you better unblur. That mosaic work is fantastic. Look at that. Wow. I like the hats. Maybe they're not mosques? Oh, wow. If only I could read that. Move me closer. Could you have taken a closer photo sphere? It might be writing. I think they're I think they're mosques. Based on that hat though. I think we're in one of the stands. I don't know, is there a particular stand that has a higher Muslim population than the next? Just to give me a better percentage shot at finding a <laughs> mosque. Uh, we're in Uzbekistan just because it's where I can click in the middle of all that stuff. Oh my god, because it was actually, because we were in Uzbekistan, of course I knew that. We were in a shopping mall. Big Bag Bukhara. I don't, I don't think that's accurate. But okay. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. 
I was going to ask what the heck is so special about this, but yeah, that's lovely. I would love to see this from the air. Obviously, water sometimes goes into here. Yeah, that's lovely. I think we're in Africa. I don't know why. I just feel like we are. Somewhere up by, you know, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania. No, Cameroon. I am beginning to really, to, to get Africa now. At least, to, it was the Tello Waterfalls. To know when we're there. So that's something. That is a beautiful, beautiful view. And then graffiti. It's a lighthouse. I like lighthouses. This looks like a lighthouse. Man, that's such a shame. Like, you come up to a place like this. Look at this view. Right? Think about your place in the world when you look at this view that Philippe uh, Lechentour has captured. And then you're standing up here watching this view. And you think, let's graffiti some stuff. I mean, come on, man. Based on the graffiti, I'd say we're in Turkey, but I don't Because that is very blue water. I mean, parts of the Mediterranean are that blue. I mean, we're in southern Turkey, I think. Then. Like out in here. Or, or we were in Caledonia. One of those two. Mont Travel. Apparently French graffiti. I didn't know that. You know what? I'm going to let this one stand on its own. We're going to do a nice little short, short geogaster video. I'm going to run an experiment. See if I get more views or fewer views because it's short. Maybe adjust future videos accordingly. We'll find out. Joe, thank you so much for sending that one in. If you would like to do the same, of course, all you have to do is go to geocenter.ml. That's the home of creating your geogaster challenges if you're not a geogaster pro member. You put in five locations, it gives you a link, which then you send to me over a private message on YouTube. And I will add you to the schedule. Thanks so much again for sending this one in, Joe. It was very enjoyable. Hopefully you guys liked it, too. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.